let me talk about my last ADP fade of 2020. It's another running back. And you know how bullish we've been on Ronald Jones. We got a fantasy film room coming out from Alex, a fantastic breakdown of Ronald Jones usage last year. And part of that Ronald Jones hype for us is the fade here, especially for me on, on Keyshawn Vaughn at RB34. You know, <laughs> I love this pick. <laughs> I love RB34 is just, Thank you. I mean, look, you're, this is mid rounds. Um, you know, you're talking sixth, seventh round, but even then I'm not pulling the trigger on Vaughn when there's other names there. He's in a three man committee with Ronald Jones and Daria Gumbawale. Jones should be the alpha back. We've talked about his improvement last year, uh, his efficiency in the red zone. He scored on six of his 10 attempts on the ground inside the 10. He was two for two inside the five. Peyton Barber leaves as the other power back in Tampa. He vacates 154 attempts and a reception or two a game. Reports are positive right now about Rojo putting on a bunch of muscle, which tells me that he is making it a priority to improve as a pass blocker so he can stay on the field. And we know check down Charlie extraordinaire. Tom Brady is in town in Tampa, so there will be a big bump in receiving work for these running backs. Brady could easily throw 100 targets to running backs next year. He's averaged 130 a year over the last five seasons. But even then, that doesn't get me all too excited about Keyshawn Vaughn. In college, Jones was just as efficient as Vaughn through the air. Rojo actually had more yards per reception. They were both at around 10. Uh, and they both scored only three touchdowns through the air in college. Jones had 31 receptions last year. I expect that to go up. Dara Gumbawale is still there, and he's going to get more, I think, than the 46 targets he got last year. Uh, and he was already the third down specialist prior to Keyshawn Vaughn coming in. He's already been practicing with Tom Brady. And there's this narrative that, you know, I am kind of letting go of at this point, which is that Bruce Arians doesn't like to utilize rookies. But, you know, I look at, at Vaughn and that third round draft capital, that, that does to me doesn't seem very exciting. The average... Uh, stat line um, and, and fantasy finish for a third round running back over the last seven seasons is 199 carries, 20 receptions. Is it really 199 the, carries? That seems like a lot for third round running backs. It is, but you got to think of some of the names that are in there. There are some super high outliers. I believe Kareem, Kareem Hunt. Hunt was one yeah. of those. Yeah. So, I mean, you got some outliers in there, but I mean, on average, they finish as the RB54, only finishing as an RB2 18% of the time, and RB3 32% of the time, and 50% of the time they finish as an RB4. So it's a 50-50 shot here that you're getting an RB4 and you're drafting them at the RB3 values. The chances of you hitting on Vaughn are just so low to me. I'd be so much happier grabbing the other backs at or above their ADP, uh, like Ronald Jones and Agumba Wale, and not taking the risk on Vaughn there it's just you know I I do like Vaughn I think there's you know a world where he is you know great and he can take over some of that James White type of role but I don't think he's getting the goal line touches and I don't think he's going to have the carry volume to be extremely relevant I look at his college tape and there are some some red flags there as well I'm not going to get into you know the whole scout report but Vaughn there's a reason he was taking the third round behind all these other names that are there and and so for all of those reasons I'm just fading him at that RB34 give me Ronald Jones there every day of the week Jones is almost creeping into to RB2 range for me and I know he is for you too yeah dude I'm so glad you brought this up like I I just don't understand why Keyshawn Vaughn is going ahead of or in the same round as Ronald Jones in all these drafts. I don't know why people think Keyshawn Vaughn is just going to come in and supplant Ronald Jones in this offense. And I'm going to drop this film room. It should be out here in the past couple of days if you go back on our YouTube and check. And Ronald Jones is a very, very good player. I watched his film last season, and it seems like last year he was an unwatched highlight reel. And my draw dropped on several occasions with some of the runs that Ronald Jones made in this offense last season. Yes, there's a lot to clean up. He needs to be a little bit more consistent, but Ronald Jones is a good player. And Keyshawn Vaughn, we knew the Buccaneers were going to bring in a running back in some way, shape, or form. And with Peyton Barber leaving, they just need a depth at the position. The only other guy they had was Daria Gumbawale, who is pretty much primarily a special teamer that happens to be effective in the receiving game as well. So they needed another body in this room. And they don't address it in free agency. So we know, honestly, if they hadn't drafted Vaughn, I think they would have been a top contender to bring in like a Devontae Freeman or we saw Carlos Hyde right. signed to Seattle. like Lamar Miller. Lamar Miller, yeah. Those are the types of guys that I would have not been surprised to see go to Tampa if they hadn't brought in more depth at the position. So Keyshawn Vaughn, a third-round running back, 
when they just need depth, like they did not draft this guy to change their franchise and be their starter. They drafted him for depth at the position as a backup. He is not better than anyone on this team in anything. Like he's not as good of a goal lineback as Ronald <laughs> Jones. He's not as good of a receiver as Dare Gumbawale. He's n- quite frankly not much better of a receiver than Ronald Jones. Ronald Jones, they set up a lot of screens for him last season. He was actually fairly effective getting out of the backfield, uh, being a dump down option for Jameis Winston when he needed him. Um, So Ronald Jones had a better receiving year than people thought last season. They set up plays for Jones in the receiving game. So I don't know where all this hype came from with Keyshawn Vaughn. Like, I think he's going to come in and be an effective player. I hope he is. But I see this as a 70-30 split, maybe 65-35 at the best for Keyshawn Vaughn. That workload is not enough. I do not see him supplanting Ronald Jones this year unless Ronald Jones gets hurt. So, look, I, I'm so glad you brought this up, Steph. I'm actually hyped right now. I'm going to have to go <laughs> in and move Ronald Jones even farther up my rankings. I have him as a top 20 running back right now. I am all aboard wow. the Ronald Jones hype train. Um, so I think Keyshawn Vaughn will have value as a handcuff. I, I think of him almost as like a – you know, like a Marlon Mack. So he's not like the sexiest pick for fantasy football. There might be weeks where he gets you 8 to 12 fantasy points. He, he'll have some standalone value, um, but he's not going to just take over this backfield. And I think maybe like a Zach Moss is a better example. Another guy in the third round, we expect Moss to be involved. But no, like Moss is a third rounder and Singletary was a third rounder last year. No one's talking about Zach Moss taking over the Buffalo backfield. I don't know why exactly. people think Vaughn is going to walk into this job. So I, I love this pick. I'm not drafting Keyshawn Vaughn anywhere. Give me Ronald Jones all day. Yeah, I'm not on this Vaughn hype train at all, and I'm all aboard this Rojo hype train. So I'm excited to see what happens in this this Bucks team. There's so many question marks. Like I thought about putting Gronk here as an ADP fade, but at the same time, like you really think about it, it's like, well, who knows? Maybe he comes back and the, the Brady <laughs> rapport continues. So uh, there's a lot to like. Hopefully we get everything we want out of this season so we can see this Tom Brady, uh, you know, see Tampa Bay in, in full action here. 